Hey everybody, it's Matt here with Matt's RC Addiction. Um, got my new servo in today. It's a uh, it says Wind King or Winking. Um, it's sold under RC Gear Shop on um, Tire Hobbies. Uh, to be honest with you, it kind of looks like it's a box. And if you search this uh, titanium metal gear servo, that's what comes up is a lot of so uh, Savox stuff. Um, this is not waterproof. Um, I don't really play much in the water, but later on I could waterproof the servo myself. This is supposed to have 322 ounces of torque. It's I think it's six volt. I don't quite remember, but it's titanium gearing, um, 25-2 spline. I'm going to test it out on the Creighton. Uh, we're going to do a little review on it, but here's it out of the box. Can't believe it came in such a nice box. Uh, the thickest servo was $52.99, and then with all the discount coupons and stuff, I hardly paid, I think, 20 some dollars for it with my e cash and $10 off 50 coupon and stuff. But um, it should fit exactly into the servo mount I have, and we're going to give it a Tesco, and maybe this will be a good little servo. All right, it's Matt back out here. Matt's RC Addiction. I just got done putting that uh, Wind King servo on there. Like I said, I bought from Tire Hobbies. This is RC Gear Shop. I got, I think it's probably a um, It's a brand that somebody makes universal. Um, I think it's supposed to have 322 ounces of torque. Um, at 6 volt. So it's not like a high voltage servo. I think it's going to need a... Um, a glitch buster I'm kind of new to this whole trying out new servo things um, it's not a very fast servo as you can see but it seems like it maybe because it's new but it seemed like it had a little bit of hang in it oh, that's really loose right there anyways um, it is not a waterproof servo. Servo. I'll have it linked in the box below if you like what you see. Um, like I said, it's not waterproof. It does have 322 ounces of torque. Um, it's about the same size of stock. I think it's one millimeter off on the depth of you know how tall it is. Uh, it's got titanium gears. It's cordless and digital. Um, you know, stock ones, analog, only 209 ounces of torque. Everybody kind of complained about how it didn't have enough torque for the machine. I mean, seems like so far it's a lot better than the old one. It's only got a 30 day warranty, but, uh, you know, let's just see how it goes. I mean, she's turned a lot easier and better in this grass. I mean, even though it, <coughs> the speed's slower, I think it's the speeds at like 0.17, but for bashing, I don't know why you would need one any quicker. You know, I'm not racing or anything. I'd race if we had a track, but I could actually make my turnings a lot quicker. I mean, she doesn't turn as good as the one side as the other, but if I tighten up the um, the servo saver. Probably wouldn't have that problem anymore. Um, I'm gonna do a jump with her here real quick, and I'm gonna take her on the road and see how she how she acts on the road. Now I'm still running the Outcast battery tray, which you all saw in the video yesterday or the other day, that I had problems with it. That because you can't screw all the four screws on the holes, that it was coming off. Well, I've redid it and uh, put double sided sticky tape all the way through it, and I'm hoping that's going to hold her down like she should. I still haven't fixed my T bone front bumper. Oh, yeah, she's. You can definitely tell that torque really helps out a lot. I mean, she's holding true. You remember with the stock servos, you go turn like that, 
and it would flex real bad, wouldn't have been able to hold it. And as you brought the wheels up, you could see it turn more. Still needs a little bit of adjustment. And I tell you what, if somebody could tell me or not, but uh, those pivot balls that's on the front end, you know, you could tighten them or loosen them. If you tighten them up real tight, of course, it makes, steer, it makes everything real tight in the front, but then again, you can't steer that good because of the uh, being too damn tight. My question is, is do y'all put grease on yours? I mean, it doesn't say nowhere in the manual to add grease to it. And she's still needing a little tuning. Sorry, I'm just trying to tune her up real quick here. Steering's a lot more sensitive. I mean, I'm really impressed since it's only, um, you know, it's about it's slower than the other servo apparently, but I guess maybe because of all the torque, you know, it doesn't matter because the original stock servo couldn't give the torque it needed to it. These tires are not made for the road at all. Oh yeah, I'm I'm really liking the servo. I hope it lasts. I mean, I got the torque to turn now. The other servo was nothing like that. Well, I have to get used to it though, because now my steering's more touchy. I mean, now I could turn so damn quick, I'm turning the damn car over. I'm probably going to really wear out this servo saver now. Uh, the Creighton is running a 16 tooth pinion. Brings it, brings it to life. I mean, really brings it to life. Um, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm really liking the servo. Time will tell how good it is, but like I said, I think it's like $52.99. It's not waterproof, but I don't play in the water that much. And there's videos online on how to waterproof the servo. Um, I had ten dollars uh, for every fifty dollars I spent on tire um, tire hobby coupon, so it knocked it down to like forty-two something. And I had tire cash. Like I spent a total of shipping and everything. It was like 28 bucks so you couldn't go wrong even if it was a piece of junk because my stock one was not working at all the Creighton does not like rocking itself back and forth I should have took this damn piece off this is a brace for the uh, that's a brace for the uh, servo not for the servo the uh, yeah, batteries are staying put. It's a brace for the um, T-bone front bumper. I just figured I would done had it fixed by now, but I've been messing with more important things than a bumper. Oh yeah, I gotta be more gentle with turning because now when you go jam to turn it, I mean, it, it's got the power to turn it like it should. One of these days I'm going to get a speed tester and see how fast this Creighton is. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to get used to that servo. I mean, I'm not used to it being able to turn like that. I'll tell you something I used to do a lot. Let me see how good that servo is. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not flexing at all. It's actually trying to turn going up there. The stock servo at all would not even attempt it. It was just way too weak. Really loving this extra torque it's got. I'd go down there and play in the dirt, but I think the construction workers have been out today. I 
I need to get off the street. I'm going to wear these brand new backflip tires out in a heartbeat. But when I didn't have the wheels and tires on and I was testing it, it seemed like it was like glitching a little bit. But I don't know if that's something I'm not used to because it's digital or it's so sensitive. But it seems like driving wise, it's just fine. I tell you what, I can never keep that sucker on there. I tell you what, you're getting used to doing backflips. It's just that it becomes an addiction. Let's right, see, that damn pin came off. And the batteries are staying still. So, so far my idea is working, but I haven't hit anything dead on with impact yet. But I'm not having any trouble at all with her. I'm really kind of quite enjoying it. Wish my front bumper was on there. I did not mean to go that high with a backflip, but I'm glad I landed that shit. <laughs> I'm just glad I got my Creighton up and going. I love my Creighton, man. It's the best armor they make. Mm. Check those batteries again, cause I landed. I smacked it pretty hard. Huh? Everything's holding down pretty good. I gave her a little test right there. But anyways, um, thank you for watching my video. If you got any recommendations I should do to the Creighton, I'm more than happy to, to try them out as long as they don't cost me an arm and a leg. I'm still learning as I go. I've had the Creighton now since June of last year, and I've learned a lot with the A-scale armor vehicles. Um, but uh, thank you for watching.